Welcome back, friends, to another episode of Cubic Cauldron SMP. In this episode, I'm going to be working on Layers Combination Lock. I kind of got a little bit of a starting here. Okay. Ah, uh, darn it. Hold on. Let me just act like that never happened. Voila, there. It never happened. Do, do, do. Let me just fill that in. Yep, I did not fall down there. Okay, so down here, um, there we go. Uh, as you can see, it's just a dead end. Now, um, when this line right here gets powered, as you can tell from the sound, it opens up the door. But. I need to adjust it a little bit actually so let me just uh, shazam shazam there we go now I got a wire in the top piston as well how am I going to do that oh okay that's gonna be simple like uh, just like so There. All right, now let's come over here and check it out. As you can see, bam. Now if I come over here and power, it should open it all back up. Okay, there you go. That is the door itself done. Um, now Lair wants it a comment wants a combination lock. Uh, how am I going to do that? Quite simple. Um, let me just cover that back up. Um, there's uh, comparators right there, and on the other side is an item frame with the sword in it. Um, item frames switch around eight different spots, as you saw. Um, and which each one it goes, the signal strength changes. As you can see, it's getting brighter and brighter. And the top being the brightest. This is the full signal strength. Um, and how these work, this would be one, so on and so forth, and this up here would be eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, um, now as far as the uh, combination lock goes, uh, this side I'm going to have a, like a, uh, I don't know, like a, a dynamic uh, comparing thing in my jig. I'll, I'll explain here in a moment. Right, let me just make it first. Uh, okay. So let's grab this. I'm going to need this. Uh, this, this, this. Um. I'm aware, guys, that I just threw everything on the ground because I didn't realize I let me just make three more of these just in case I need them. I'm not going to, but it's just in case. Uh, okay, bam. Okay, so what I'll explain how this is going to work, guys. Uh, right here, bam, bam. Let's put. Uh, nope. Uh, right there. Okay. So now I'm going to, it doesn't matter where that is at because I didn't even want it right there anyways. It needs to be right here. Put that right there like a so and I already have a crap ton of droppers I didn't even make one. Okay. So here I'm just going to plop this in here. Um, I believe that that's on subtract mode. Uh, okay. I'm trying to think of what the signal strength will be at that. Um, hmm. Oh dear. I did not realize that. I'm going to have to fix that. Um, I thought it would give you the block. Okay, um. So. Alright, yeah, okay, yeah. That's right. See how that the signal is off, and when I turn it to one, two, three, it turns on. 
So let me just grab more shenanigans in here. Uh, actually, let's grab the swords instead. Bam, bam, bam. As you see over here on the left, um, it turned off. All right, um, bam. At four, it's still off. At five, still off. Six, still off. Seven, still off. Eight. See how that worked out, guys? Um, I instead of having super long lines, I'm just going to have it um short like so. Uh, let me just grab some brick. Uh, let me do that as well. Bam, and then there. See how that's off? Okay. Now um this one right here um I haven't decided on. What I'm going to use for the combination, and when I do, uh, I'm going to actually set the combination off camera um, and put it in this book layer, this book and cool right here, and um, I'm going to leave it in this chest right down here. So when you log on, and you can come here and hey, my combination lock is done. Congratulations! There you go. Um, as far as payment goes, you can just drop it off at my spawn house uh, whenever you're on. Um, now, I, I kind of just want to ex explain how this works. How this is going to work and shenanigans. Um, we just block that hole and uh, put another... Oh, uh, what a fool. Not right there. Right there. Another... Uh, uh, yeah, okay, that'll work. Um... Bam, bam. Now I was trying to figure out where. Uh, let's put that in subtract mode. Um, let's put a stone sword in there. Um, let's make a couple more stone swords actually, so I can. I'm gonna use stone swords instead of uh, stacks because. Where it, it's more better. Wow, that, that was almost good English, guys. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and plop this in here. Bam. And over here, let's go ahead and plop another one in here. Alright, now, um, let's go ahead. Yeah, let's do that. Um, I'm saying um a lot. I'm really, I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm just, when I concentrate, I, I, it's hard, it's hard for me to like, the mind. The redstone and talk at the same time, I suppose. Uh, yeah, the, um, how this is actually going to work is. Uh oh. Something. Oh, okay. That's what's wrong. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, yeah. It's going to be an AND gate. And. What I mean by that is, what I mean by AND gate is, basically, when all three of these are activated, like when you have the right combination, it will deactivate this torch, and when all three of the torches are deactivated, it will activate this torch, which will deactivate that one, which will open the door. Quite simple, to be honest. Um, let's see if I, bam, bam. okay, okay, yeah, all right, um, well, guys, that is actually all, Ooh. you guys are going to see of this little project, I just, um, I'm going to finish it up, and then I'll show you the behind the scenes. Obviously, I'm not going to show you what the combination is because that is up to Laird to decide if she wants it publicly known. I don't know if she wants it to like be kept as a secret from the other Cubic Cauldron members or if she just wants a cool combination lock. So I'm going to go under the assumption that she does indeed want it kept secret from the other Cubic Cauldron members and you guys. So I'll be right back as soon as I get this done. I'll show you the behind the scenes and voila. <laughs> Hello, okay, I'm back. Um, 
And I just, uh, getting that right there is the code to the combination lock. I am not going to show you guys it. So, Lair, if you're watching this, it's right there. I'm, I'm probably going to end up just putting it um, in an item frame. I just need to probably just root through your stuff to see if you have any sticks I can steal. I mean, what? <clears throat> totally not steal because you gave me permission. In any case, um, I'm, now I'm back here. Um, as you can see from the little jumbleness of jumbleness, um, I actually have, and I just said um several times, which is very professional. Um, in any um case, um, how um, are you doing? Um, hey, hey, um. <laughs> okay, now I'm just intentionally being annoying. So, that over there, uh, let me come over here and show you this. This right here, when the combo number on the other side is right, this will put a signal, strength of 1, which will turn this torch off, um, which is one of three of the AND gate that it will activate. And if it goes just one number too far, it will actually extend out this way, which will turn this on and basically override this torch being off. And right here is the same thing. When this is the right code, it will go to here, which will turn the torch off, activating step two of the AND gate. And when it does go too far, it'll come over here, which will activate this repeater right here, overriding this AND gate. This one right here um, isn't really necessary, to be honest, because of... The, the, this one I don't mind you guys knowing because it's fairly obvious if you just look right here. Um, the first digit is 8, as you can see. And if it goes back to 1, it turns it back on anyways. These ones, if it goes past the, its number just by 1, it will mess it up. So it has to be the exact combination number. In other words, it will not work. It will not open up the door. And I'll be right back. I'm going to punch in the combination and I will... It, that words. I will punch in the combination and then show you that it is working. Be right back. Okay, um, I am back and as you can see, all of these torches are unlit and uh, this line right here is off, meaning that that is on. And if that is on, that means that that torch right there is off, which means that these pistons are off, which is good, good, good. Now, I could have actually lined it to where... I could have wired it to where this wire right here goes directly to the pistons. But it's already a little bit jumbled behind here. Um, now I'm going to go out here and look down. There we go. Uh, there we go. See? There you go, Lair. Your door is done. Um, this stair right here does not move. It's just this... Uh, what is it? Yeah, it's this block, this block, and this block pushes out, making it appear to be a solid wall right here. Um, I was going to put the door right up here, but the problem with that is it's not very flush. At least the stairs wouldn't be very flush. It, you, you would have to basically move this entire wall out, move that entire wall and this entire wall that way one more, which I'm not sure if you wanted to do that, <laughs> to be honest. So, yeah, let me just... Uh, Shenanigans, uh, let me grab my shenanigans and my other shenanigans, uh, you can have a free button layer, uh, you can have these bricks because one of them, um, actually I think one of them came off your wall. Huh? Huh? Yeah, right here. Okay, so let me grab these and let's fix your wall there. And fix your wall right there. Nice. Um, first of all, before I even do that, let me just make sure it's all well lit back here. That's unnecessary, but whatever. There we go. I just want to make sure it's well lit back here. You don't get moody mobs spawning back here, so... Now that that's over with, let's go and uh, eat some fish. Yum nom 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 nom. I actually need to go to the ocean monument to uh, get a sea some sea ah, get a sea lantern so I can replace that sea lantern that I broke. 
Oh, this is different. Ooh, layers making it nice in here. Ooh, I hope I didn't just show something that she didn't want shown. If I did, I'm going to feel like a terrible person. Almost as terrible as doing this, just breaking a hole through the side of her castle. At least I replaced it, though. There's some people... I don't. It's probably her, to be honest. Uh, like, there's been a couple times I come here and there's there's just a hole in the wall. It's like, oh, you guys are jerks. And prepare for frame droppage. I always get frame drops here. Oh, wow. It wasn't as much as I expected it to be. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um. Oh. Okay, my friends went back up. I don't know what it is that causes a frame drop. Usually it's down to like 10. But hey, there's a cow. Is this way? Is it this way? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, I can't quite remember how to make these, so... Is... Is this it? Oh, okay. Brilliant. Uh, let me just, uh... Bam. Let's drop these ones down here. Uh, and... Like this, so... Okay, <clears throat> hmm, so let's go ahead and drop these species in there and that in there. Is there anything else I should probably grab? Nah, okay, uh, I'm actually going to check to see where we're at for time and I'm, I think that may be this episode done and dusted. If it is not, I'll be right back. Wrong button, wrong button. Shift minus, right? Okay guys, as it turns out, um, I'm pretty close to the 20 minute marker and I don't really have a lot of time to make uh, today to make a um, like a 30 minute video like I, I like to do um, and I did actually just go through every single one of Lair's chest up here in the storage room to find some sticks which I, I evidently obviously I found some so right here um, there's that right there and then bam bam Um, actually, let me, do, do you have uh, Anvil around here somewhere? Oh, right there. I actually, I want to rename this so it shows up in the item frame. As said name. There we go. Now, um... Check that out. Now I'm coming down here. Gonna put that in there, like a so. Now I think about um, renaming these right here. Um, just kind of as a, um, a little, I guess a little quick tutorial to you specifically later on how to use this. Keep in mind that default, this is what the default state is. Um, the top right corner is 1, the middle is 2, and then bottom right corner is 3, the bottom middle is 4, the bottom left corner is 5, the left middle is 6, the top left corner is 7, and the top middle is 8. So um, that's what the combo code in here means. Uh, obviously I'm not going to show it here on cam, but combo code inside there means um, right there so it is not one two three 
four, five, six, seven, eight. That's one. That's in the one position at the moment, okay? Just keep in mind, top right corner is one, bottom right corner is three, bottom left corner is five, and then the top left corner is seven. All right. And then the in-betweens are obviously the if even. So that's 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 the combo, not, combo lock done and dusted. As soon as you type in the combo, it will appear right there. And now you just need to basically make the rest of this room look pretty. Um, as far as accidentally running into my redstone goes, you don't really have to worry about that. Because most of my redstone is done in on stone bricks, except for uh, a few bits and bobs in there. But, there you go there. Um, because you were kind enough to let me actually use your resources to, to build this, uh, you do not have to pay me seven diamonds. Four diamonds would be sufficient. Um, and, yeah, so... You can go ahead and drop the payment off at my um, spawn house, or whatever, or you can just give it to me next time we're on together. In any case, that is all I have time for the gay, t two gay guys, okay. That is all I have time for today, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a lurk rating. That would be very much appreciated. Oh, getting close to my face. I'll walk backwards. Um, ooh. Like uh, so, like uh, so, and also, if you guys are new to the channel, then by all means, hit that subscribe button. You know, it'll keep you updated with my latest videos. If you, if you, if you want to watch my latest videos, I guess. Um, if you don't want to watch my latest videos, then <sighs> I guess I'll just be sad. And also, share this with your friends um, via your favorite social media, so your friends can enjoy my awesomeness. Because I am conceited at the moment. And, yeah. Catch you guys later. Hope you have a nice day. I, I want you to have a good day. Take care. Goodbye.